In this video, we will learn how you can automatically send WhatsApp message to lead on HubSpot form submission. Now, let's say you run a business and you use HubSpot for your customer relationship management. Now, you want every time you receive a new submission in HubSpot, your user should be notified on WhatsApp. So, we are going to integrate this entire process using Pabli Connect. Come to my screen to see how we do this. To automatically send a WhatsApp message when a new lead submits a HubSpot form, let us first go to Pabli's website. You can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. If you sign up free, you will get free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply write HubSpot to WhatsApp. Let's create. Now it will show you two windows, trigger and action. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. So our entire automation process would be based on these two steps, trigger and action. Let us understand this with the help of an example. A trigger can be when an order is placed and action can be send a, what, send a message to a customer. In our case, a trigger can be when a new lead submits a form in HubSpot, then send and the action can be send a WhatsApp message to that customer. Okay. Now let us select HubSpot CRM as a trigger application. For the trigger event, we will select new form submission. It triggers when a new form is submitted. Okay, now it will generate a webhook URL like you can see it here. A webhook URL is basically a link that connects to application. So let us copy this link. And now let us go to HubSpot. Follow these instructions to paste this link. Okay. You can see this is my HubSpot. Okay. Now you will see on the top, you will see automation. Then go to workflows. Now come to the right hand side, right corner, you will see a create workflow button. Click on from scratch. Now go to blank workflow like it says in instruction here. Click on next and for blank workflow. Okay. So we selected next. Now click on set up triggers. It will show a list here filter type. So select form submission. Then click on any form submission. And then let's see what it says. It says you to apply filter then save. Then click on the plus icon to add an action. All right. So let us just click on apply filter and save. Now the instruction says to click on plus icon. So now on the right hand side, you will again see a menu, the workflow section, click on send a webhook. Now it will ask you to search for the method. We will select post as it says here, select method post in the right panel and then enter the above webhook URL in webhook URL field. So we copy this webhook, then come back here in this section, webhook URL section. Let us just paste the link, save. And now on the top right corner, you will see review and publish button. So now we will select. Okay, so it asks these contacts already meet the trigger criteria. Do you want to enroll them when this workflow turns on? So we will select no, only enroll contacts who meet the trigger criteria after turning the workflow on. Okay, so we will select this on the top right. Let's click on turn on. And you will see workflow is on here. Now let us come back to Pabli and you will see it's waiting for a webhook response. Now to check if the connection between Pabli and HubSpot CRM is established, let us quickly go to a HubSpot form and do a test submission. So here you can see here are the form. Here, here is my lead form. The first name, last name, email and phone number. Let us quickly fill in the details. So we have filled in these dummy details like you can see. First name demo, last name dummy, email is here. 
then the contact number so let us just submit the form okay it's, the form is submitted now let us come back to pabli and see if it is able to capture the response so now you will see pabli has captured the response successfully if you'll scroll down you can see the first name and the other details as well i'll show you like the email address here and other details so this means we have successfully integrated hubspot crm with pabli now on to our action step here we will select whatsapp cloud api the action event would be send template message connect the two add new connection and here you will see we need few details like token phone number id and whatsapp business account id for that i will go to developers page like you can see here this is my dashboard on the left hand side you will see whatsapp drop down click there then go to getting started now it will show you temporary access token just click on copy come back to pabli and paste the token here you will see it says the token will expire in 23 hours so why that is because it's a temporary access token so once the token expires your workflow will stop running but don't worry we have a full video on how you can generate a permanent access token for whatsapp cloud api the link you will find in the description box you can go through that okay now it needs phone number id so again we'll go to developers page and you will see phone number id here copy it come back to pabli and paste now it needs whatsapp business account id so again we will go to developers page right next to phone number id you will see whatsapp business account id copy it and let's paste now save so this it shows connected so now you will see here it will ask you template name so these are the templates that i created in my whatsapp for whatsapp so i will be using reply to lead so this is a template basically what will happen whenever a form is submitted in hubspot crm this template message would go to the lead i'll show you the template here you can see this is my template message hello the person's name the lead's name will come here and then thank you for filling out the form we will in touch shortly so whenever a form a lead submits a form in hubspot they will receive this message on whatsapp so coming back to pabli we will now map few details recipient's mobile number so what we will do here is we will just click here and we will map it from hubspot crm you can see it let me search using this is the number but before we map in these details you must be thinking where exactly are we getting this data from so for that i'll take you to step 1 where we integrated hubspot crm with pabli and did a test form submission pabli brought all these e the leads name email address contact number such details here so pabli exactly brought the same details here and that's how we are going to map it so we have to we'll take the phone number of the lead then body field one here it says looks like name let us quickly go and check hello yes the lead's name will come here so again we are going to map it from hubspot so we made a test test submission from demo yes so this is the first name give us me space we are going to take the last name as well the last name and now the next field let us see what it is thank you for filling out the form we will be in touch warm regards your name your sender's name will come here so i will simply write my company's name pabli and we are good to go so now before we proceed further i would just like to tell you one more thing you can see these fields that we have mapped in the recipient's mobile number and the recipient's name so what will happen is the mapped in fields from next time will automatically be updated for let's say if a new lead submits a form next time so here the recipient mobile number and their name will automatically be mapped in and you will not have to do it again you will not have to manually do it now let us just save and send test request 
and you will see we have received the response just one more thing before i show you the final message you will see here let me take you here in the phone number details here the help text says the recipient number should be with country code that is in 91 that is our country's code so make sure that whenever you are making a form for your hubspot make sure you mention that this as a note so that lead can write their phone number using their country code okay so now let me take you to whatsapp to the leads whatsapp and see if they have received the message okay this is the whatsapp account you can see the lead demo dummy these were the details that we mapped in they have received our message hello demo dummy thank you for filling out the form we will in touch shortly so this means we have successfully integrated our hubspot crm and whatsapp cloud api using Pab. i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube for further queries you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com